first uh, if we know that line has infinitely many solutions there there are so many so many points on this line for example this line it is this uh, graph of this line and we have to know that there are infinitely many solutions for this line but diophantine which uh, is a greek ancient philosopher uh, he proposed that there are some integer solutions for this equation for this equations there are some integer solutions and we have to know how to find them out and we have to know something like the solution should be integer this is the first step and let's check this how can we solve this because it's impossible to solve that there are so many solutions but we have to find integer ones our problem is the same one and uh, when we solve this problem we have to realize that there are so many solutions but we will find only some solutions for example uh, step one for these kind of problems we have to cancel them out if it's possible if we cancel them out by three and we will find that 65x plus 14y is equal to three and it means that uh, it is more simpler it is simplified and then first we have to apply the Euclidean algorithm Euclidean algorithm says that if we have coefficients 65 14 and we can write them um, by using the other one for example if we uh, divide 65 into 14 we will so uh, see that four times and and six, 56 and it has a reminder 9 and if we write 65 like this 65 is equal to 4 times 14 plus 9 we uh, we applied Euclidean algorithm now and if we uh, if we do that several times with the quotient and the remainder again 14 is equal to 1 times 9 plus 5 and if we do that again uh, with the quotient and the remainder 9 is equal to 1 times 5 plus 4 and oh sorry we did the we did the cancellation with 3 and we have to use we have to find this 4 and um, if we a result in 4 we have to stop because we have to find 4 in the result of 65 and 14 65 and 14 we have 4 and if we do that reverse with the Euclidean algorithm if you write them reverse like this 65 minus 4 times 14 if we put them the other side to the left side we have to conclude with 9 and if you do that again here 14 minus 1 times 9 is equal to 5 and if you do that again 9 minus 1 times 5 is equal to 4 and we will conclude with 4 that we want it and after that um, you see that this is 65 this is 14 and this is 4 we have to make a bridge to this equation because we can see that 65 14 okay but not 4 9 but there is a connection between them step by step and we have to construct this connection and we have to do that substitution method to uh, observe this connection for example um, if you want to write this equation again 9 minus 1 times but if we substitute 5 to here in a parenthesis 
minus 1 times 9. We substitute this one uh, into 5 is equal to 4, like this. And we do if we do that again, but first we have to uh, arrange this in our order. 9 minus 1 times 14 plus, because it's minus minus, and it makes 1 times 9, it's 4. And if you do that uh, in order, 2 times 9 minus 1 times 14 is equal to 4. And we are very close. It's uh, 4 and 14. And we are in a good way. And then um, we have to substitute 9 to here. You see, this is 9. It has 65. And we have to use 65. So we will write this equation again two times with 65 and this one. 65 minus 4 times 14 minus 1 times 14 there is already 1 times 14 is equal to 4. And we, if we arrange them 2 times 65 minus 8 times 14 minus 1 times 14 is equal to 4. And if we arrange them again 2 times uh, 65 minus 9 times 40, 14 is equal to 4. And we conclude that, you see, x should be 2, uh, y should be minus 9. And we have an integer solution like this, 2 minus 9. This is our solution. And we can uh, reach this solution by adding, adding the other coefficient, adding the 14 and adding the other coefficient to the y. It's 65. If we do that, we can conclude 16 and 56. It is the other integer solution. And we can uh, solve this uh, linear Diophantine equation like this. And next video, we, we hope you meet.